In this video, I just want to show you how to create hyperlinks for your websites uh, using HTML coding. To get started on today's tutorial, I just want you to make a folder called hyperlinks, and inside of that folder, we should have an images folder. Inside of the images, you just need a picture, for example, this Google logo, as I am going to create a hyperlink to Google using that picture a bit later on. Once you've got your folder set up, I just want you to go into brackets and make yourself a new document. Once you've made the new document, go back to File and Save As, and I want you to save that document in the folder you just created. So I'll just look for my hyperlinks folder. I'm not going to go into the images folder, I'll save it outside of that. I'm just going to call my document today hyperlinks.html and click Save. Now to get started today, we need to start with our doc type tag as usual, and then open up our HTML tags. Inside the HTML tags, we've got the head section that comes first, and inside the head section, we have a title section. In the title section, we just want to name our web page, so we'll just call this one Hyperlinks. And that's our head section all done. Coming down below the head section, we've got the main part of our website, which is the body section. Okay. Inside our body section today, we're going to create our first simple hyperlink. Okay, so I was just going to say, click here to go to Google. Okay. Now that's just going to display some text on our page. If I save that and hit the live preview button, you can see what that's done. Okay, let's put that text click here to go to Google on our page. What we're going to do is turn the words click here into a hyperlink so we can actually click on those words and it will take us to Google. So what we're going to do is go back to the start of that line just before the words click here and we're going to open up pointy bracket and write A space href. And we're going to write equals, and in quotation marks, we're going to write in the website address that we want this hyperlink to go to. And when you write the hyperlink, make sure you do HTTP at the start, colon forward slash forward slash, and it's just a simple www.google.com. Now outside this quotation marks, I'm just going to close the pointy brackets, and you'll see that the little closing A tag is going to appear. We actually need to move that, so I'm going to cut it out, and put it after the word, click here. So what that does now, as you can see, we've got our link here highlighted in green. So ahref equals, and we've got the website we want to link off to. And then we've got the closing a tag here. Between those two a tags is the words we want to become a hyperlink. So the words click here will now become a hyperlink. If I save this up and go back to my live preview, you can see the words click here have become a hyperlink. As I click on that, Let's see, it'll just ask for my credentials here, and Google should pop up. There we go. Okay, so it's as simple as that to make a hyperlink. Now, there's a few other things we can do to this hyperlink to make it more effective. One of the things we can do, getting back inside the pointy brackets here, just after the quotation marks, one of the things we can do, which is a commonly used feature with links, is to change its target. And it's usually the blank option. What that does, when you click on this link, it's going to open it up in a new tab or a new page. Generally, generally these days it will open up in a new tab in your web browser. So if we save that up and give it a try, just go back. Now when we click on this link, hopefully you'll see across the top a second tab appear. Okay, There we go. So I've still got my original page open here in the first tab. And then the second tab, I've got my hyperlinked page. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. What I'm going to do next, a couple of lines down, I might make a new paragraph, so put in the, the P's there. I'm going to do another hyperlink, but this time I'm going to make a picture into a hyperlink. So first of all, we need to put the picture in by using the image source uh, tags. I'm just going to go into images and choose the google.png picture. Close the pointy brackets. Okay, sorry, that's just the school bell ringing. So let's put a picture into our page in a new paragraph. If we have a look, you can see the word Google here. Now it's quite big. I want to resize that first of all. So still inside my pointy brackets, I'll just resize the width. And I might just set it to, we'll say, 400. And have a look at that. That looks better. So I want to turn this picture into a hyperlink. And the way we do that is we use the same code as what we've got above. We just put it around the image tag. So before the image tag, I'm just going to put in ahref equals, 
and whoops, I don't want to go to images. I want to link it to http colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. Let's put .au on the end so it goes to Google Australia. And then I'm going to close off my pointy brackets. Okay, so we've got the hyperlink tags right here. Now remember this closing A tag here, which closes our link off. We're going to cut that out by pressing Control X and moving that after the image. Okay, so you can see our hyperlink now in green. Start tag here tells us where we want that hyperlink to go to. And then we've got our closing tag here. Inside of those A tags or the hyperlink tags, we've got an image. Okay. So what that does is just links up the image. So if I save that now by pressing Control S and going back to my live preview, I should be able to click on this picture now and it should take me to Google Australia. There it is there. Okay, so that's pretty simple. That's probably all you need to know about hyperlinks for the time being. Um, I can copy this target equals blank and put it down into this one as well. So when I do click on this picture, it takes me off to a new tab. Better just check that. Yeah, sure does. Okay, so that's working well. All right, that's all I wanted to show you for this video. You now know how to make hyperlinks and also how to use pictures as a hyperlink. Okay, enjoy.